I made the phone call over to Hawaii and uh, asked the guy if they, they had anything left over from the USS Oklahoma. And the guy just started laughing. And I said, well, I guess you think I'm crazy. He says, no. He says, I'm so glad you called. He says, they dredged up a 40-foot uh, section of the mast from the USS Oklahoma. It's over on Ford Island, and they don't know what to do with it. The Navy is threatening to cut it up. And he says, I'm so glad you called. And uh, uh, that's how it all got started. Uh, but it took an awful lot of work from there on. Uh, it was very, very, very hard to get the Navy to release it to us. Uh, they didn't think that our little museum was uh, uh, qualified to preserve it and all of that. So we had to do an awful lot of work. It's about 45 feet long. It's about 18 inches in diameter. And it's just one of the three pieces. We originally thought it would be an easy deal and they would just mail it to us. Unfortunately, we didn't realize how heavy it was and how difficult a process it would be to get it from the Navy. Uh, we're very excited. I mean, it's an opportunity to, to help students in Oklahoma realize uh, the value of our history. Well, it's pretty special. As I was just telling some of my associates here, it's hard to convey to non-sailors how important his ship is to him. When you're a sailor, yeah, it's your mother, your home, and if you spend a lot of time at sea like we did, it's a fundamental island of security. This is a piece of the Oklahoma coming home.